right now there are 100 days until hurricane season officially begins. Yeah, we're going to turn to Amanda Holly now with everything we need to know about El Nino and how to get ready for the season. It'll be here before we know it. I know the 100 day countdown that isn't necessarily the greatest yeah. countdown <laughs> that we have here in the state of Florida. But yes, June 1st, 100 days away officially. And when we look ahead, well, we'll start out easy. We'll look at this year's list of names. It was used back in 2017. We do reuse these lists of names every seven years. So this year we'll start out with Arlene, go to Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily. Now on this list, there are four new names that have never been used before. That would be the H, I, M, and N name. Harold, Idalia, Margo, and Nigel have never been used before, and that's because they have replaced Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Nate, which of course were all destructive hurricanes back in 2017. So those names have officially been retired and replaced with the four new ones. So we'll hopefully not get to too many of those as we head into the season. But if uh, you do want to do some things over the next 100 days before that season begins, here are a few of them. Check your roof and your garage doors. Finish up any repairs that you may still be working on from last season. You don't want to have to go into this season worrying about that. Look at any trees around your house, trim any big loose tree branches, maybe get your window coverings while there's still plenty of supplies out there and you don't have any stress or worry right now. Look at your insurance coverage. Has anything changed? Maybe prices have gone up or gone down. Obviously, there's a big insurance uh, debacle going on in the state of Florida right now. So check that out. Make sure you don't need to make any changes to your policies. Make sure you take an extra look at your garage door. If your garage door fails, eh, your roof and your doors are more likely to come off. And now also as we head into this year, it does look like El Nino is going to develop. And what that means for us is typically in an El Nino year, we see fewer hurricanes form and that is because there's stronger upper level winds that prevent that formation. But guys, as we always say, no matter what, no matter how many storms actually form, it's best to prepare the same every single year. All right, Amanda, thank you. Well